Hello everyone, this is Colin once again. I'm making this video uh, as a response to a user here on YouTube who responded to one of my videos against Octopus Quran 3. Uh, the video is entitled, uh, let's see here, the video is Jews Killer of Their Own Prophets, or Killer, Killers of the Prophets, and um, his whole title is, it's response, Jews Killers, uh, killers of, the, of Prophets, uh, and then in parentheses he has to Ozzy's response to Ahmed. So, this is a video I made a while ago, and I want to thank this user for responding. Um, granted, Ahmed's Quran 3 never uh, bothered to respond to it, so I would like to thank you for taking the initiative. Um, I, forgive me, I can't actually pronounce your screen name, because I am a uh, ignorant Westerner. So, my apologies for that, sir. Um, your video was straight and to the point, and I thank you once again for responding. Um, some things that you made uh, very apparent was that you reject the Babylonian Talmud as authentic and that you demanded biblical references to Isaiah uh, being killed by the Jews. Um, well, sir, I believe that that was sort of uh, kind of a, uh, a statement that you made that was unnecessary considering the fact that you know that I know that there is no biblical reference, at least in the Hebrew scriptures, uh, i.e. the Tanakh, um, that actually uh, talks about this subject, and so therefore you are right. So uh, when you create straw man arguments, um, you tend to win those. It's pretty easy to do that. Um, you mentioned that the Babylonian Talmud was written too late. Well, I'm going to put it in the description section. I encourage you to look at this article. It's from JewishEncyclopedia.com. If you look under this, the heading in rabbinical literature, it mentions not only about the it doesn't actually mention the Babylonian Talmud. It mentions just the Palestinian Talmud. Uh, where it says a rabbi Simon ben Azai found in Jerusalem an account wherein it was written that Manasseh killed Isaiah. So now we're talking about not only the Babylonian Talmud, we're talking about the Palestinian Talmud as well, or the Jerusalem Talmud, if you will. And on that note, I'll be putting, putting a um, link in the description section to a book entitled Introduction to the Talmud, that uh, written by a Jewish scholar who uh, backs up the claim that the t this misconception of the Talmud was written so many years after the fact that actually the Jerusalem Talmud in particular, the concept of the Talmud, was finally uh, being divided and categorized during the time of King Herod. Now, I do agree with you, and I admit wholeheartedly that that even though I might be able to prove that the Jerusalem Talmud contains this information and that it was written, or that it was... Um, being categorized, um, you know, many years after the average, the final redaction date, um, I do ad admit that th that this uh, tale, uh, this account, uh, does uh, is cropping up after Isaiah, and I never said anything to the contrary. Um, however, to my understanding, Orthodox Jews and and many Jews take both Talmuds to be authentic, and they believe in it. Um, the information I received for um, Manasseh killing Isaiah was from an Orthodox Jewish friend of mine who does believe in this and found no fault in my information. In fact, I'm going to put a link to in the description section um, with another video because you're not the only one who has made a video uh, or, or did make a video regarding this topic. Another user on YouTube uh, responded and I responded to his video like I'm doing right now where I gave additional information to prove my point. So I would I invite you to watch that as well. See what you think of that. Um, the thing is, is that I, I, I'm pretty sure you are Jewish since you mentioned, you know, we don't, you know, you mentioned a lot of different Jewish groups. I do understand that Judaism has different, many different points of views, different schools of thought, different interpretations. So I'm not going to sit here and say, well, you are a Jew, so therefore you should believe in the Babylonian Talmud and what it says. No, you don't have to believe in any of the evidence I brought forward, and I wasn't trying to convince you. And I, I, and you also mentioned, well, we don't believe that uh, John the or Jews don't believe that John the Baptist and Jesus Christ are prophets, right? I, I, I understand that, and I'm pretty sure I mentioned that in my video. Um, if I didn't mention that video, it's in the other video, which with the related topic, which I again invite you to watch. The thing is, is that. This is the problem when someone, and I mean no offense to this, again, I, I thank you for your response, but the issue is when you come into an ongoing dialogue, well, it wasn't really a dialogue, because Aquas Quran 3 never responded, but when you come into a video response to someone else's video, and you only respond to a couple of the points made, you're forgetting the whole context of my response, which would shed light on what I was saying here. Um, 
the thing is, is that Aquas Quran 3's claim was that the Quran is unique in that it claims the Jews killed their prophets, some of their prophets. And he was saying that, that there's no other evidence for this, that you can't find this anywhere else. So I presented all this information to back up the idea that he was wrong in this assessment. There are other documents, whether you choose to believe in them or not, uh, that claim that the Jews did in fact kill several of these prophets. And again, if you look at my other video in the description section, I give biblical references to Jews killing their prophets from the lips of Elijah himself. So I would really like it if you could look at all this information and please keep in mind the context in which my response was given. I'm not actually saying the Jews have to believe in anything I put forward. And as I said, this was not an attack on Judaism or Jews in general. This was a response to his allegation that outside of the Quran, there are no claims that Jews killed their prophets, which is a false statement, uh, as I proved. And I also would like to note that, yeah, modern Jews today, they have every right uh, to reject anything the Talmud says. But I know for a fact that there are many Jews that today, and when the Talmud was final, in its final redaction, was did believe in these in these statements and believe and believe them to be um, true, uh, and to the extent that they did believe in their veracity. Um, so no, I, I I'm sorry, I cannot provide you with any biblical references on Isaiah in particular. But if in my other video, like I said, I have references to um, Elijah claiming that the Jews uh, that the, ch the children of Israel had killed many of the prophets, he, and he was the only one left. Um, and uh, so, yes, I invite you to look at all the evidence I've brought forward. <clears throat> but like I said, you as a Jew, you can believe whatever you want to believe. I'm not going to sit here and say, well, you know, the Talmud's part of your uh, religion and your literature, so therefore you should believe it. No, of course, that's, that's your choice. And also, I do, not, I do not expect you to take anything I quoted from the New Testament as relevant at all. Like I said, I, you have to look at the nature of my response. And it's, it's your choice to accept or reject anything I said in that video. But like I said, thank you for responding. Peace be with you all. Shalom.